Hi guys, welcome back to the Gazelle Lab. This is Anthony. Today we're going to look at the Sling Player app for the iPad. This is currently on my iPad 2. I should move it over to the new iPad when I get it next week. So as you can see, I already have it installed right here. Uh, it's $29.99 from the App Store. It's kind of expensive, but uh, I think it's very well worth it on the iPad. I've seen it on I have it on my Galaxy Nexus as well and on other Android tablets such as the Fire and the Motorola Zoom. It does look the best on, on the iPad too, I can tell you, across all these platforms. Uh, so let's get into the app. So you will need sling uh, you will need a Slingbox at home hardware. I recommend getting the, the Slingbox HD, it is the best one. It doesn't use HDMI, but it's still the best option for under the sling boxes right now and some dish network receivers also have them built in so here's the app right now you can see it's watching some uh, Champions League game on a high def channel uh, it's it's pretty phenomenal the quality is very good I'm not sure if you can see that in the glare uh, in terms of features once you tap the screen you'll have guide DVR quality this is a new feature on, on an update it's set between HD SD and auto uh, favorites of your favorite channels. You can change the aspect ratio if a channel is not in HD. Uh, devices. If you have other devices hooked up into your sling box then wired to your router, you can connect uh, other external devices as well and a disconnect switch. Uh, and up top you have some buttons up here. This right here is, let's see if you tap that, this one is oh, this to control some DVR features. Uh, the remote on the outside, this pretty much mimics your standard, uh, I have Dish Network, my standard Dish Network remote. This will allow you to access channels, so this is just your touchpad right here. And then miscellaneous will give you all the controls to everything from guide, menu, last channel, stop, clear, power on and off. Uh, if you don't set the option to set the sling box to connect to a certain, uh, in a specific channel when you power on, you will need to come in here and push the power on button. Uh, what also nice is you can channel up and channel down straight from the screen from the swiping, which is a really cool feature. So this will change the channel up. Uh, honestly, it works better if you're on a... I've connected through through my 3G, and it really does work better on a Wi-Fi network. Uh, perhaps with the 4, with the 4G LTE on the, on the new iPad, you could see some uh, better connectivity. All in all, this is a great app. It's like bringing your TV pretty much anywhere in the world, anywhere you have uh, internet connection. You know, like I said, I recommend it on Wi-Fi. It's you know, it is a little pricey at twenty nine ninety nine, but I think it's really it, it's probably my favorite app on the iPad right now. Uh, especially if you're outside in the summer, you want to bring it with you, you want to bring your TV. It's just like having a full TV in your pocket. You know, it is nice on a smartphone as well, especially a bigger device such as the Note or the Galaxy Nexus, but. It can't be beat on this on this 9.7 inch uh, display, and hopefully, once the new iPad comes out with that Retina display, it's going to look even better. So I hope you uh, enjoyed my review. You uh, you can check out the app in uh, in the App Store. Thanks.